my decision to lead the Liberal Party once more. I very much want Western Canadians not only to feel but to be fully involved in the continuing nation building of Canada. <clears throat> I want to form a government with good people and good representation from Western Canada. ...of a potential link between agents of the government of India and the killing of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijar. Canada is a rule of law country. The protection of our citizens and defense of our sovereignty are fundamental. Our top priorities have therefore been, one, that our law enforcement and security agencies ensure the continued... I'm, I'm not going to get into private diplomatic conversations that have either already happened or are going to happen on this topic, only to say that we have been and will be in contact with the Indians at high levels on this issue. It, it is a matter of concern for us. It is something we take seriously. It is something we will keep working on. And we will do that regardless of the country. There's not some special exemption you get for actions like this, regardless of the country, we will stand up and defend our basic principles. And we will also consult closely with allies like Canada uh, as they pursue their law enforcement and diplomatic process. Mr. Doe, I think, has made a huge mistake. He has made allegations in a manner which he hasn't been able to back. There's two possibilities here. Either he was shooting from the hip and he doesn't have the evidence to support the accusations he made against the Indian government, or he, there is something there, in which case he needs to explain why his government was sheltering a terrorist with blood on his hands. Well, as a former consumer of intelligence, I can, I can say that oftentimes the intelligence we see, whether it's a telephone intercept or something else, isn't as black and white, isn't as cut and dry as oftentimes politicians want it to become. I mean, certainly that was the case with regard to the Iraq war. So when you have a situation like this, perhaps Prime Minister Trudeau raised the issue, but there wasn't necessarily consensus on what it meant. Um, and regardless, let's not, let's not fool ourselves. Hardeep Nijar Sindh, I'm sorry, let's not fool ourselves. Hardeep Sindh Nijar was not simply a plumber any more than Osama bin Laden was a construction engineer. He had blood on his hands through multiple attacks. And therefore, while Secretary of State Blinken may after the fact say that the United States will always stand against transnational repression, we're actually being hypocritical if, if Secretary Blinken makes that statement. Because after all, what we're talking about isn't transnational repression. We're talking about transnational terrorism. And what the United States did to Qasem Soleimani and what the United States did to Osama bin Laden is really no different than what India is alleged to have done in this case. I'm not sure that the Allies are convinced with Trudeau's theory or that they interpret uh, the importance of the matter to the same degree that, that Justin Trudeau does. First of all, let, let's give one analogy. When Jamal Khashoggi was killed in Istanbul, the Turks were able to provide intelligence support right away, which is why the world rallied around Saudi Arabia in this case. But Justin Trudeau, again, he seemed to have shot from the hip. He hasn't been able to release any definitive intelligence. And as time goes on, it raises the question about whether there's any there there. When Justin Trudeau says, trust me, no one trusts him in the best of times, all the more so against the backdrop of an election campaign he's presently losing. And so this is the what reason why there is such great um, doubt or caution on the part of the United States and the other Five Eyes community. Well, an Indian diplomat, should they do more in response to this news? I think we need to see more facts. Um, the Prime Minister hasn't provided any facts. Uh, he, uh, he provided a statement, um, and I will just emphasize that he, he didn't tell me any more in private than he told Canadians in public, so we want to see more information. What is the risk if he doesn't provide more information or these allegations are found somehow to be untrue or uncredible? What is the risk? Real. But what specific yeah. information, what specific facts do you think Canadians and yourself need to know in this situation? We need to have uh, the evidence that drew the, that allowed the prime minister to come to the conclusions he made yesterday. Do you regret the government's decision to go public with the intelligence? And if so, why? 
Sorry, I didn't hear Do you, you agree with the government's decision to go public with the intelligence, and if so, why? I would, I would have to have more uh, evidence to make a, a judgment on that. Okay. I, I do find it interesting that he knew about vast foreign interference by Beijing for many years at the same time as Beijing had kept two Canadian citizens hostage, and he said nothing, and he did nothing. Just very, very interesting that, that that was the approach. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, baseless and unacceptable. That is how the Indian government described the Prime Minister's bizarre theory that a convicted terrorist presence on the trip was somehow the fault of agents working on behalf of the Indian government. Now, the Prime Minister's incompetence has severely damaged Canada's relations with the world's largest democracy and an emerging power in Asia. Will the Prime Minister finally do the right thing and produce some kind of proof of his conspiracy theory? There has never been a government, liberal or conservative, who has used a national security official to clean up an embarrassing mess that was self-inflicted by this Prime Minister. Today, the Prime Minister confirmed that the theory put forward by one of his national security advisors was true. He has also said that it was the member for Surrey Centre acting alone that was the result of this embarrassing incident. So how can the Prime Minister at the same time blame rogue elements in the Indian government and the member for Surrey Centre?